Welcome back to Great SpaceX. Before we begin, I just want to apologize in advance for any chickens you might hear. Um, you see, I'm not recording in my usual studio, so please bear with me for maybe another week, and uh, we'll be right on schedule to be using <laughs> top quality recording studios. <laughs> Alrighty then, well, let's get back into today's content, shall we? The James Webb Space Telescope, the multi-billion dollar instrument on which the hopes and dreams of astronomers worldwide rest, has had to delay its launch yet again. From 2018 until now, this is the seventh time the James Webb had been delayed. What could be happening at NASA? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. First and foremost, let's get it out in the open. The December 22nd launch will not happen. Engineers discovered an intermittent data dropout associated with a piece of ground support equipment after connecting the James Webb Space Telescope with its Ariane 5 launcher over the weekend in French Guiana. As a result, the observatory's long-awaited blast-off will be delayed at least two days to December 24th to troubleshoot the problem. The mission was previously set for takeoff on December 22nd from the European-run Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, on the northeastern coast of South America. Everything had been going so well. The telescope was filled up, boxed, and the final step in preparation for the Webb's blast-off also occurred on Saturday, December 11th, when the observatory was raised atop its Ariane 5 launch vehicle. But a technical issue held up the next step in the launch campaign. In a brief statement, NASA wrote on its website late Tuesday that the Webb team is working on a communications issue between the observatory and the launch vehicle system. Thomas Zerbuchen, the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, said Tuesday that engineers found an interface problem in a system that communicates with the Webb while it's on top of the Ariane 5 rocket. The way to think about it is it's a ground support equipment thing. Basically, the data cables are dropping some frames. Technicians inside the Ariane 5 rocket's final assembly building in Kourou have tried to diagnose the problem, but so far haven't been able to resolve it. Tomorrow we're going up there with the ground support equipment and just really making sure we can flush out what the issue is, Sir Bucket said. We've tried a bunch of things and we just haven't been successful. This is a 100 meter cable that goes all the way from the top of the rocket to somebody's computer. Somewhere in there is the problem, is our guess. But he also added that it's too early to say. We need to go after it tomorrow and put some specific equipment into play. The way things work, once you find it, it's easy. NASA will provide more information about the new launch date no later than Friday, December 17th. But it isn't the first time that the launch of Hubble's cosmic successor has been put off. As a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, James Webb is the next generation of space telescopes designed to peer back into the earliest universe. NASA hopes it and the aging Hubble Space Telescope will operate at the same time, but first, Webb needs to launch safely and make it through a complicated and lengthy deployment process. The telescope is incredibly complex. It must be folded up like origami for launch and will open itself back up once it's safely in space. That has led to a series of delays. For the three main Webb partners, the recent cancellation is just the latest in a series of setbacks for a telescope initially slated to launch sometime in 2007. The launch date came and went. The telescope was further delayed until the following dates. Here's a list of the recent timelines as follows. We might even be missing some dates, it's hard to keep track. It's a lot of delays, but the issues speak to the fact that this is a high-stakes project, and every single part of the $10 billion mission needs to work for the mission as a whole to succeed. That's why a sudden unplanned release of a clamp band on November 22nd this year pushed the launch date from December 18th to December 22nd, and why we're now looking at a Christmas Eve launch at the earliest. Webb has a narrow launch window of about 30 minutes in the morning, so if anything additionally goes wrong with the telescope, we may be looking at no earlier than December 24th. A technical snag on December 14th may have delayed the telescope launch to two additional days, but that's far from the end of the telescope's journey. If there are no more delays, it's, which is a big if, the telescope will launch and begin a tense 30 days of terror. 
After leaving Earth's atmosphere, the protective fairing will fall away and Webb will separate itself from the rocket. Its destination is a point known as the second Lagrangian, or L2, where the gravity from Earth and the Sun balance each other perfectly. There, a million miles behind our planet, the spacecraft will be able to stay perfectly still relative to the Earth, an ideal situation for a space telescope. On the month-long journey to L2, Webb must unfold itself in a complex sequence of reverse origami. The telescope's primary mirror, composed of 18 gold sections, is 21 feet in diameter, and it possesses a sun shield the size of a tennis court. That's far too big to fit inside a rocket, so NASA and its partners designed the telescope to fold itself up neatly for the journey. That process must go off without a hitch, or the telescope may not work at all. Hubble orbits Earth, so its technical problems could be fixed by space shuttle astronauts. By contrast, James Webb, its cosmic successor, will be orbiting the Sun at a stable point about a million miles from Earth. Such a distance means there's no way to send a repair crew out there. If something goes wrong, that's it. Once at L2, Webb will spend six months turning itself on and calibrating its instruments. These include both near and mid infrared sensors and two spectrographs. Together, Webb's capabilities will allow it to peer back almost to the beginning of the universe to when galaxies were just beginning to form. That's farther than humans have even been able to look before, and it will unlock new discoveries and perhaps new mysteries about the founding of our universe. Webb will also be able to look into the atmospheres of exoplanets and determine what kinds of molecules are there. That's something eagerly awaited by exoplanet astronomers who will be able to search for telltale signs of life on planets beyond our solar system. Once in place, the telescope is meant to run for decades, fueled by 159 liters of hydrazine that will allow it to make minor adjustments to its orientation as needed. That means astronomers can look forward to years of new discoveries and fruitful space exploration, as long as Webb makes it out there, of course. With all that riding on a launch success, let's pray for a Christmas in space miracle. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you like what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Remember, everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with my chickens and with Great SpaceX, of course, and my team and I will see you next time. Cluck, cluck, cluck.